professional film awards. It's like, you know, because I've always said, the uh, real movies and show business is in hobo. <laughs> Which is awards for excellence in independent films, or as we like to call it, low budget shit. <laughs> We're gonna be giving out special awards later on for uh, best movie to have people say, uh, do you know what's going on in this? <laughs> But uh, this is very tight. You know, I was I was actually supposed to be here earlier tonight, uh, but uh, I had some stuff I couldn't avoid. I got a higher paying job. <laughs> and this just lets you know, because last year I worked with uh, Ken Del Vecchio here, and um, it just lets you know how cheap he is. That the that the people who paid more was the United Jewish appeal. <laughs> I don't want to say Ken Del Vecchio's a cheap fuck, <laughs> but he's the only person I know who can look at the Jews and go, you know why I hate them? The way they throw their money <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't know that many showbiz jokes. Two goats. Two goats. Thank you. Well, you appreciate goat jokes. We, we know how lonely you are that you're familiar with goats. But that's a whole other story. Two goats are eating a can of film. One goat turns to the other and goes, how does it, how is it? And he goes, said the book was better. <laughs> An actor comes home, he catches his best friend fucking his wife. He goes, Frank, what are you doing? And he goes, well, I completed a commercial. And... <laughs> Another actor comes home from work. He finds his wife uh, uh, lying on the floor naked, bruised and bloody. She says, he goes, what happened? She goes, your agent came to the house. He pushed his way in. He threw me down on the ground. He ripped my clothes off and violently raped me. And the actor goes, my agent came to the house? <laughs> An actor is on stage <laughs> in a production of King Lear and he's so bad the audience is booing him the whole time and finally he turns to the audience and goes, hey, I didn't write this shit. <laughs> Here's one that has nothing to do with show business. A guy gets a call. He says, uh, they, they, they say, this is uh, Grandma. He says, Grandma, what's the matter? He goes, your grandfather died. And he goes, that's terrible. I'll come right to the funeral. At the funeral, a man is saying to his grandmother, how did Grandpa die? And she goes, he died uh, last, uh, you know, a couple of days ago when we were having sex. And he goes, but, but you're 90 and Grandpa was 95. Sex is dangerous. And she goes, no, we did it very safely. Uh, we would do it only on a Sunday and we would time it according to the church bells. So, ding! He'd slide in. Dung! He'd slide out. Ding! He'd slide in again. Dung! He'd slide out. And the grandson will go, well, that sounds very safe. And the grandmother goes, it certainly was. And he'd still be alive today if it wasn't for that fucking ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs>
walks into his son's room. He goes, son, you keep messing, Brady. You're going to go blind. The son goes, I'm over here, Dad. An old Jewish man. An old Jewish man in his He's, he's like, uh, he works in a garment center. He's the owner of a business there. One day, he decides to go out to go to the men's room. One of the models walks in, and she sees no one's there, and the safe is open. So she reaches into the safe and starts taking money out. The old Jewish boss comes back. He goes, you're robbing from me. I'm calling the police. They'll throw you away for life. I'm calling the police. The model goes, no, no, no. Here's the money back. I'm sorry. I don't know what went into my head. And he goes, I don't care what you say. You're robbing me. I'm calling the police. She goes, no, no, please, please. I'll do anything. And he goes, anything? And she goes, yeah, anything. He goes, all right. Take your clothes off. She takes all her clothes off. He goes, now lie down on the couch. She lies down on the couch. He starts squeezing her tits and her ass, and he's rubbing all over her body, licking her up and down, and then he tries to get it in, but it's too soft. So he tries again, and he's squeezing her breast and her ass, and he's touching her all over, and he tries to get it in. But still, it's not hard. And then he tries a third time, and it goes on and on and on like this, squeezing her breast and her ass and licking her, and it's still not hard. Finally, the old Jew stands up and he goes, ah, this is hopeless. I'm calling the police. <laughs> I, I heard that music and thought I had to get off stage. Okay. It's... Frank Carpenter, the uh, night never sleeps. Get up, on the wall. Get up, get up, get up. On the wall. Don't fucking move. Spread your fucking legs. Don't fucking move. Michael O'Connor, sleeping dogs. Uh, hi. Hi. Ich bin Jim. Ich bin Toms Vater. Ich bin Jule. Ich möchte, dass du verstehst, was damals passiert ist. Du bist abgehauen. Nein, mein davor. Ist doch egal. Jeff Kaplan, Bert and I, Arnie's Guide to Friendship. This song is my favorite song, so I don't really care if you like it or not. It's dedicated to my co-worker, Ernesto, who wouldn't pick up this goddamn phone. He made me miss my girlfriend's birthday party. Dick, play the music. Victor Pontin and Jim Talbert too. I hope that's close. Play Alpod. I had that all wrong. No? Why not? It's uh it's complicated. I just can't explain. Stephen Morrow, Broadway's finest. Yeah, so there's a new batch of DIY coming in. When? 
Like I would know. Is the chemist bringing it? I don't know. Plus, tough for you and for your mother. And you, if you go up to the chemist.